Okay, between these three teas, you'd think that the Uniqlo Arism oversized tea is best for summer. Because, well, Arism fabric, right? But is that really the case or just some marketing gimmick to get us to buy poly blend teas? So, in this video, I'm gonna put these teas to the test under the scorching sun and by the end of it, you'll see which tea is the most comfy in the tropic heat. Let's start with a chill activity, standing. And while we're at it, let's talk about fit. For reference, these are my body and the respective shirt measurements. The Supima tea is the slimmest of the three, followed by the crew neck and the Arism. Note that I've altered the sleeve opening on the Supima tea for a more fitted look on my skinny arms. In terms of softness and the weight of the fabric, the Supima T is the softest and lightest, followed by the Arism, then the crew neck. If you look closer, the Supima T has the shortest collar height, while both Uniqlo UTs have the same height, though the exposed overlock stitches on the crew neck give an impression of a shorter collar. Also, I much prefer a smaller collar opening that sits closer to the neck, and all these collars are way too large on my skinnier frame. 5 minutes later. Okay, 5 minutes feels like a long time under the sun, but isn't long enough to break a sweat. So, if you're not doing any vigorous activity and are out in the sun for just a short while, then the comfiest tea would be the Supima tea. No surprise there, since Supima cotton is an extra long staple fibre with a soft hand. On the Arizona tea, you can feel the soft cotton yarns on the outside, but on the inside, it's polyester. So you get that characteristic plasticky feel, kinda like a football jersey. Not to say that it's uncomfortable, just less comfortable than the Supima. Lastly, you can feel your body heat being trapped in a thick crew neck fabric and it gradually gets more uncomfortable every minute. I suppose it's fine since I didn't break a sweat, but if you'll be under the sun for more than 5 minutes, maybe consider the other 2 teas. Next, I strapped on a 2kg backpack and walked 1km with it to see how sweat patches form on the back. One hour later. Obviously, the shirt color affects how visible the sweat patches are, but all things equal, the sweat is most visible on the Supima tee, followed by the Arizona tee, then the crew neck tee. It doesn't show as well on screen because my camera isn't so great, so you just gotta trust me here. Side note, do support my Patreon so that I can invest in bringing you better content. Link in description. Alright, the rough fabric of the crew neck is definitely the most uncomfortable, while the Supima tee absorbs sweat but stays clammy. Finally, the Arizona tee does indeed wick moisture away and keeps my skin and the inside fabric dry. Now, you might think that the Arism is the winner here, but here's the interesting part. During the walk, I held a fan and could feel the most air flowing through the Supima tea, followed by the Arism tea, then the crew neck tea. This made the heat more bearable on the Supima tea, and what this means is that the Supima tea is the more breathable tea, but the Arism tea wicks the most moisture. If you're confused, breathability has more to do with a fabric's ability to let air pass through it, check out this video for more, while moisture wicking is the ability to move moisture moisture from the skin to the outer layer of the fabric. Generally, most moisture wicking fabrics are breathable, but not all breathable fabrics are moisture wicking. And it is this moving of moisture from the skin to the top layer of the fabric that allows the fabric to dry faster. True enough, I tested the time it took for each fabric to dry under a more controlled environment and the Arizona tea was indeed the fastest to dry, followed by the Supima tea, then the crew neck tea. So, which tea should you wear if you're out walking the whole day? You can ditch the crew neck tea, that's for sure. But between the Supima and Arizona tea, it depends. If you are in a windy environment, then go with the more breathable Supima tea. But if you are in a less windy environment where sweat is inevitable, then go with the moisture wicking Arism. And if you've made it this far, watch this video. Until next time, stay subtle.